everybody, and welcome to another edition of Sweathammer Square. And as always, I am your host, Scott Wedge. And with me today is a very special treat, my personal childhood idol, Vinny Pasmanian Devil Pazienza from Cranston, Rhode Island. Vinny, thank you so much for joining us. It's an honor to see you. You are here in San Antonio to root on a local uh, hometown product in Peter Manfredo. What do you think about that fight? First of all, Pazienza was my slave name. Changed it to just Vinny Paz, <laughs> for real. Sorry about that. Uh, no. I joke about it, man, because I, I kind of like took a page out of Ali's book. I started boxing because of Muhammad Ali. So it's kind of a cool thing for me to do later in life, 10 years ago. But in any case, we have for Peter Manfredo. I think he's going to bottom line, I think it's going to be a tough fight. I really think it's going to be a tough, tough fight. I just told him, I said, Peter, you're going to feel some pain. You've got to go through it. It's going to be a tough fight, kid. But you can do it. And rest will wait and see. Well, when you talk about pain, nobody knew more about pushing through the pain than you did in your career. Uh, many cuts, almost every fight. Uh, there was a cut. There was, you know, severe dehydration to make the weight. And, of course, the, the automobile accident in 1991. What drove you? to possibly come back after breaking your neck, and not only coming back, but also winning multiple titles after that. At that time, I was 29 years old and just didn't want to be denied. I just won the world title, and I was, you know, I felt like I was on top of the world. And I just I just didn't want to stop. And I, you know, I, I literally told my mom, I said, Mom, we'll make this happen, I'm gonna die trying. And she goes, oh, man, you don't say that. And I said, no, well, that's the truth. And, I'm lucky, you know, lucky, I got lucky. Knock on wood, that things worked out well. Well, you look in great shape, and you were recently inducted into the Connecticut Boxing Hall of Fame. What did that mean to you to finally be appreciated for all the great fights and a great career? That was cool to be inducted into the Connecticut Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, my sister didn't come. She said she'll come to the big one if I ever get in there. But it was still cool. <laughs> Vinny, you've obviously been done fighting for, you know, seven, six, seven years or so. 2004 was my 50th one. And also your retirement after that fight, and it was a recent, right after uh, the, the death of both of your parents within a year span or so, if I recall correctly. Yes. W what are you doing now, uh, outside? Uh, Working on a couple of movies. I, I, I'm busy, you know, I'm flying all over the place. I like to just crowd out in different states. Vegas is my town. Um, but I'm working on a couple of big movies. One of them going to be called Paz, P-A-Z, and hopefully that one is bigger than the Rocky, because it has all the potential, it has all the right ingredients, the story is just, you know, it's a little crazy, my story is a little nuts, it's like, you think it's made up, but it really, like, did happen, and just, just like everything, it's just, it's real crazy, it's a great story, so we're, we're working on that, we'll see what happens. Well, Penny, we'll let you settle in for the main event, but I... Personally, again, I want to thank you so much. You were my childhood hero, and I want to thank you so much for joining right. us here. That's cool. That's cool. I love hearing that. That's cool. Well, that about wraps it up for a very special edition of Sweathammer Square. And as always, I am your host, Scott Wedge, saying I'll see you all at ringside. Be there.